Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of Dr. Cat Can Code. In this video, I'm going to test the limit of my ThinkPad X230 with the uh, famous web browser Google Chrome. Recently, Google has just released the Google Chrome version 87, and it claims that this uh, browser is uh, the most uh, efficient Google Chrome version ever. Uh, with the large improvement on the performance in terms of uh, memory usage as well as CPU uh, usage that could potentially improve the battery life of my ThinkPad X230. And also I want to show you that the 2012 ThinkPad X230 is still more than a capable machine to run the modern web browser uh, smoothly and can open many tabs uh, in this video. Okay, um, that's the, the introduction and I can uh, show you that on the screen here, my Google Chrome version is 87 and I'm going to uh, close this and then I go to uh, incognito mode and I'm going to repeatedly open my uh, YouTube uh, homepage so on each of the YouTube homepage, there's a video that is automatically played for the newcomer because I'm opening this browser, Google Chrome browser as the incognito uh, window. So uh, there all the tabs that opening my YouTube website uh, will automatically assume that I am the newcomer and gonna play this video the intro video of the channel. So there's a video going and a website of the, the YouTube website of my YouTube channel also showing in, in each of the tab. And I'm going to open many of these tab and see the limit of my uh, ThinkPad X230 against the newest uh, Google Chrome in 2000, at the end of 2020. And my machine is a uh, it's an eight years old uh, laptop at this point. And if you want to know more about this machine, I have some other previous videos about this machine. It's very nice little machine. Let's see. Okay. So the shortcut to open a new tab is uh, Control T and the video is playing right now. As you can see, it's already playing and I'm not stopping it. And I want, because I want to test the limit, right? So let's first starting with the 10 tabs. That's often what we often end up with when we browse the web and work. So we may open that many tabs. Okay, Control T, Control V, Enter. Control T, Control V, Enter. Control T, Control V, Enter. Video, all the videos are playing, guys. So that's a lot of rendering. But I think the the newest Chrome is more efficient in terms of dealing with the uh, the background uh, tabs, and not the current tab that is showing. So the tabs that are not so will be. Uh, uh, will take less uh, resources. Okay. Um, control, how many already? Five already. Control T, Control V, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. By the way, I'm running this uh, X230 on a battery, so it's not plugged in. You can see here, um, it's uh, on battery. This is my new nice cell battery that I have just purchased. And I already introduced this battery in another uh, video that I have uploaded to this channel. Check it out. Actually, I can show it now. This is the video. Yeah, it is the one. 
how many times? Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, control C, control V, 10. Okay, so I have opened 10 tabs and they all have uh, a video playing. Uh, and uh, YouTube is quite resource intensive uh, uh, website as well. And there's a video playing in each of the tab. So let's look at the task manager. You can see that um, Google Chrome is taking 11.7% uh, of the CPU, which is quite efficient. And uh, it takes uh, one gigabyte, 1.3 gigabyte of uh, RAM out of my 12 gigabyte machine, uh, RAM machine, and look at the performance here. So uh, we see the CPU performance running at 48%. Uh, Probably the recording software also occupies some of that. Memory is uh, at five gigabyte. 5.5 uh, gigabyte out of 11 gigabyte. So I still have quite a lot of empty space in my uh, RAM. Okay, so yeah, so Google Chrome is really efficient, guys. I have opened 10 tab and it only used six, six to 10% of my CPU and 10% uh, of my RAM. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going fast now. The X230 is still very, very responsive. This is a great little laptop, guys. Um, it's uh, produced eight years ago, so it's almost a decade old laptop. And it's, um, it's an ultrabook, very small, very light. And it's just still so powerful. Look at this. It's handling the modern browser uh, so easy. Um, let me see how many tabs already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. IT, 18, 19, 20, 21, Two, twenty-three. Oh, it's getting a bit slower now. But it's still, still very good. How many are it? Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Let me count again, just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Twenty seven, eight, twenty nine, thirty, twenty one. Uh, 
Bentar itu. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Wow, it's still very responsive, and there's a, a screen a recording application running as well. Now let's have a look at the, the task manager. We have opened 40 tabs on the new Google Chrome on my uh, ThinkPad X230, guys. Um, power usage, very high. It's quite efficient. I have opened 40 tabs and it's only you 4.4 uh, gigabyte of RAM. So that's like 30% of my uh, uh, laptop RAM on this X230. I have uh, 12 gigabyte. Uh, the CPU is still very efficient, uh, like uh, at the low 20% uh, usage on the Google Chrome. The performance itself, this is the graph of the performance, CPU overall, memory overall. I still can open quite a lot more. Let's open another 10 tabs and see. This is insane. This little laptop is just so powerful and the new Google Chrome is also quite efficient as well. Look at how many tabs I have open, guys. 41, 42, 43, 44, Forty-five. The video is still playing well. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Fifty. Look at fifty Google Chrome tabs open, guys, at the same time. Can you see that? It's insane. Fifty different tabs, fifty different Google Chrome tabs, and look at the task manager. Uh, only using five gigabyte of RAM. I still have plenty. This laptop has 12 gigabyte of RAM and the CPU is still around 20%. And the performance overall, the CPU is still uh, manageable. It's around the overall CPU of the recording software and everything else is still uh, like uh, above the middle a little bit. The RAM though, like uh, it really hit hard on the RAM usage here. Um, it almost used up my 12 gigabyte of RAM here. It's, it is at 9 gigabyte of RAM here. But um, the Google Chrome itself is only taking half, almost half of the RAM that this laptop has. Uh, and CPU usage is also great. So Google really um, doesn't lie this time. And the performance of the Google Chrome, the newest Google Chrome is really good. 
uh, it more efficient in terms of uh, CPU and memory usage when you open many tabs. As uh, I demonstrated here, um, as I demonstrated here, I opened uh, uh, 50 different YouTube tabs. And YouTube tab is YouTube is a heavy website as well. And in each of the tab, there's a video playing in the background. Uh, yes, so that's insane. And I don't think we open that many tabs when we work 50 tabs. Not many people open more than 50 tabs when they browse the internet. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, to my channel to uh, see newer videos in the future, make it easier for you to see newer video in the future. And uh, I'm really, one, once again, I, I'm really happy with my uh, ThinkPad X230, an eight years old laptop. At the end of 2020, still more than capable of doing all the heavy tasks, including opening 50 different Google Chrome tabs at the same time and playing videos. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching and stay safe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.